Hey guys, so in this video I want to check out the brand new iOS 8 beta 3 update here uh, on the, uh, the uh, iPhone 5s here. So let's take a quick look at it. So let's just uh, unlock this uh, specific iPhone over here. And um, let's uh, have a look at this new uh, update here that Apple released today. Uh, the first thing is that they do have a new option for Find My Friends, uh, and that's something that they've added. Uh, they also have added the option here uh, for iCloud Drive. So if you go into iCloud, I also think that they have a change how it looks here a little bit. Uh, but iCloud Drive here, which is going to be something that is going to be even better in the future to synchronize uh, all your iOS data across uh, different uh, devices. So that is definitely nice that that is available, but it's not fully working at the moment. Uh, we do have a new handoff feature here. Let's see where it is. I think it is in general, enable handoff here, continue apps to and from all of your iCloud devices. So handoff should be a feature to transfer tasks between iOS and OS 10 from what I've understood. Uh, so that is quite nice. Uh, the quick type keyboard here has been, uh, yeah, there's new settings in, in keyboard. So if you go into general and then we go down to uh, keyboard, you can see you now have a new option to quickly uh, enable and disable quick type. Uh, I also think that overall, I mean, this speed update here seems to be one of the big things uh, that they have changed. Uh, really, really nice speed overall. And I really, really do enjoy that. There's still there some lag when you're going down like that, which is annoying. So let's take a look at some other things here. You have a new wallpaper, a new like um, gradient option here. So let's go take a look at it. So it's just one wallpaper. That's uh, what I could understand. And it's this one. There you go. So probably for people that uh, enjoy that uh, white color or white grading color. You can also see how it looks here uh, on uh, the boot down uh, screen and uh, all of those things. Very, very interesting how it looks here with this wallpaper. Uh, not a super big thing, but um, still pretty interesting. You still have the same kind of um, live wallpapers that you have had before. Uh, another little thing here is inside of the weather app, they should uh, have had some tweak updates uh, from what I could understand in how it looks. That looks a little bit different. Looks like they could even have added more days, perhaps. Uh, you have a new thing when you set up uh, the, the iPhone uh, with this update uh, called App Analytics. So you can enable that and uh, then app developers will know how you use their app and, and things like that. So that can also be something interesting over there. Uh, now in the photo app, uh, this like shared photo stream, something it's now called shared albums. And you also have an indicator uh, for the time left before some pictures get fully 100% deleted. Uh, you have a new option here inside of um, uh, messages which is uh, you can keep audio and video messages automatically keep usually it will delete it after some time because it seems like it's taking up a lot of space as uh, far as i could understand also if you're a t-mobile user you should be able to be able to call over wi-fi with wi-fi calling uh, also with custom keyboards that are going to come in the future to um, to iOS users, uh, you now have um, a cool little thing there where devs can move the cursor location. Um, just some minor upgrades overall. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty fresh though. So let's run this as well.
There we go, so we got a score here of 1409 and 2550 inside of this uh, quick little Geekbench test. So if you find any other cool things uh, that's new with this update, you can definitely let me know about that. You can definitely probably be some bugs and, and problems a little bit uh, here and there in, inside of this software and uh, that's something that we usually do see. Because, um, let's see here, yeah, you still have the bug reporter, of course, so you can report bugs and problems to Apple. Uh, podcast, of course, it's it's in its uh, own kind of um, it uh, it's in its own kind of app, but we already had that uh, from before. So yeah, here's a quick little look here uh, on the uh, on the on the on the uh, iPhone 5s. If you want me to check it out on another device, definitely let me know about that. This might be a change up there, maybe in animation. Uh, but yeah, quick look. Hopefully you enjoy. Yeah, peace out.